All right, this should be like plain explain. What is it now? Like 18? I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to record one yesterday, but um, like earlier in the day, and uh, I played and I I don't know. I was not. I was tired and it was a disaster. So I didn't post yesterday, but I'm planning on posting a lot this month. Here on a, like this hand is just going to be a pure four bet, and I think the size is like 27. Basically, it's 27 over 13. So when he goes, where are we gonna go this? And if he shoves, it's gonna be good luck us, even though I think he might be a little tighter in the spot. But yeah, gonna try and do a good job of explaining today. Um, here versus the recreational, I guess we can just flat low pairs in the small blind. Do not hit. Alright, gonna check. I think it's gonna be pure from the uh, button. I don't know. I'm gonna try and do a good job of explaining. My last couple of videos, like I've been, I w like I rewatched some of them, and uh, bro, I'm just typing on Discord the whole time. It's crazy. I just think the small bluff is under buffed, and our hand plays too bad on too many rivers, so we'll just fold. Even the hands that do bluff have too much equity versus us, I think. I'm gonna fold, especially when you're out of position. In position, my hand can bluff on some runouts. It's just always an advantage to be in position, obviously. This session, I started up up like three buy-ins, and I'm now probably like break even. Just getting sucked out on heads up. It's pretty annoying. Um, on a 13, we're gonna fold this hand. On a higher number, you can three bet it. I think this guy might be a fish, so we could change our strategy. And obviously, Ace King is just gonna be a pure four bet from these spots. The number doesn't matter. Um, probably go to like 24 over 10. It seems fine. And calling off if he shoves. Good luck us. All right, twice. I've been running really bad on these. I've been getting swept. Come on, let's not lose both. No. Okay, give me one. There's just no way. Oh, so many outs. Oh, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Always a sweat. Like, why is it so fucking sweat, man? I never sleep anymore. But I guess that's, that's just... I've been down swinging really hard recently, and obviously, like... On a 94, you could 3-bet this hand. But I think versus this player, it's a little bit of a recreational. I'm just gonna... My hand... Like... What's the word? I want to say linearly, but I don't think that's the word. Like my hand, I think it's just some more, I can't think of the word. More of a calling hand, but that's not like the best word to use, but that's what I'm going with. Like we don't need to have the 12% sixes in a range or 10% sixes in a range. Actually, from the big, do you even have sixes? To be honest, I'm not 100% sure. Deeper you will. But 100? I don't know. And anytime I'm talking about that, I'm talking about the amount of big blinds you start in the hand with. But, yeah. Try and explain. Sometimes I get... My, my explaining is too much for me. And not for people watching. On a 15, we're not going to open deuces. On, like, a higher number you would. That's what my RNG... Anytime I'm talking about my RNG, it's just, like, more aggressive, higher number. So on a 7 here... This hand actually probably folds, but it's a... Fish in the big one, so I'm going to open. By fish, it's... <laughs> Damn, there's so much to explain. By fish, it's weaker player. All right, I'm going to have to play this guy heads up. God, I always just am stuck playing heads up on video. Hopefully someone sits. Oh, here, I don't know. My hand plays better as a check, but I should probably just one-third, because this flatting range is just... I don't know. He's not really going to turn a pair into a bluff, though, so... Now I'll just block that and get called by a queen, maybe. I don't think he raises over as a bluff either. Actually, if he raises, I'm tempted to call because I don't think he raises thin for value enough. It's kind of been it. Okay, what's action? When I play heads up, it kind of fucks me up everywhere. I expect this line to just be overfolded, to be honest, if I overbet. Even though I'm probably overbluffing with this end. Oh, okay, I was wrong. What do you call me with? Okay, he has trips. I'll accept it. I'll accept it. Hmm. 
This guy is kind of crazy, right? Alright, we're gonna go we're gonna three with the fence here. Uh nine seven's just gonna pure fold versus three bet. Heads up. Security so three bet, we're gonna call, hoping for a nine on the turn. <laughs> okay, now we have two outs, a five or a nine. <laughs> if he checks, do I even want to reopen? Reopen is betting in position and giving him a chance to like react. I think this board we play pot or check. This hand's probably okay as a pot. But exploitably I'll go half pot. Here I'm gonna bet a third and then here I'm gonna check back. Okay, come on. Just have it. Here I think we can bet half pot. Okay, he checks. I don't think he has a calling hand, to be honest. So we're just gonna bet half pot. I hope he calls with like kings or queens. This guy is kind of face up. I just folds. All right, whatever. What is action? All right, here I'm just debating what to do. I took so long. I'm just gonna check. Even though my hand's probably up your bet, I just took so long. And it feels like I would not take this long with value too often. I can bet one third here. Actually, let's do it. Let's bet six bigs. Our hand can call a raise. Dude, if we get this in, we're probably, like, not good. That's, like, the sick part. But Obviously, my hand is, like, basically the nuts on this board. I lose, like, zero hands. I'm gonna be calling here and, like, donking. Not really ever playing donks. Okay, we just lose now, for sure. I think our hand would have played better as a bet. Yeah. Six. I think this is the size. I wonder what the size is. I mean, it's probably the size of the king. I mean, I, you could play different sizes, but I feel like this just has to be the size. All right, good luck us. Let's hope he doesn't have eights. This guy runs so good versus me, it's crazy. He's tanking, like, is he gonna fold an ace? Okay, that's just like, <laughs> there's nothing he can do there. Oh, that's so sick. <laughs> Okay, the deck gave, we got like kind of sucked out on earlier and then the deck gave it back to me. All right, so here I three bet squeeze, range bet flop, turn jack, we block 10 nine. I think we just, I mean, we could check this hand. We beat an eight, like, is it really make sense to bluff? Probably in this example, it doesn't. When the queen jack's flopped, it's probably different or like a king queen's flopped, but here it's, there's only one over. He has a lot of worse hands, so we can check call, I think. Uh, I was hoping for a different river, obviously. And uh, now we just lose 100% of the time. If he shoves, we just never call. I mean, we kind of block. Actually, do we call? Uh, I feel like we're not good when he checks. What? <laughs> nice hand. Uh, you should four bet this hand for you. Obviously. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess like, given that he didn't shove there. I mean, it's funny, because there's some players who will bluff a lot. But they're like, really nitty with value. So, then they end up like, in spots like that. Like, if he's not going to shove kings for value there. Which he obviously should. Then, um... I'm going to over here. Um, what was I saying? Oh, okay, then he's going to have way more bluffs in that spot. Right? Let's say he'll bluff all those hands that don't, like... Be ace high here, or like, something. Uh, turn an 8 into a bluff, maybe. Probably not, but like you say 7-6, seven, 9-7, because seven, he's calling too wide pre. Oh. King 10 and stuff. Do I want to check on a 5 now? After we overbet? Probably. You want some 5x in your overbet range, though. But also, the 7-6 the getting bleeded is slightly, like... I mean, he's supposed to fold some 7-6, I think, to the overbet. I could be wrong about that, actually. So don't hold me to that, but... Hmm. I think the Jack of Spades also might be like a part of his folding range. So I'm going to check this hand and we get the flush. Perfect. He obviously has some better flushes, some worse. I'd say my hand's pretty weak as far as flush goes. How much worse can you really have? But we're obviously going to be raising. 
Do I fold to the regem is the question. I don't think versus this player we can, unfortunately. Maybe it's better to just jam ourselves. Folds. Going to here. I think this is like the main jack X we want to raise here. Like the under cards. Usually your your top pair plus like one under is like the best range candidate. If we play raises on this board, and I think we should, because I do not think you can range about this board pure, and he probably is. So the raise is just naturally a little profitable. And just folding out his extra equity there. Like for example, if you have a hand like Queen Jack, that's probably like the worst hand to raise on that board, because we lose the we still lose the King Jack and Ace Jack, and uh, on a Queen turn, we want him to still have his like Queen Tens, his Queen Nines. All right. Oh, that sucks. I really wanted to play my hand, but you're going to have to fold when you call force. You just never play a calling range there. You just play shove or fold. Because calling here and then him shoving over the top is just a disaster. You just burn like, what would it be, like 19 big blinds? There has to be like some ex absurd like exception for me. Like if you're deeper stacked, you can because people can't just rip 200 big ones, right? I'm here. I might as well just play one third. It's one third to check. I think you want a club here to probably bet a third though. So I guess we'll check. Why not? Whatever. To be careful on these like lower ASX boards. Any reopens big, we'll just fold. Here I usually like to play just OB or check. We'll just big, play big bet, I guess. By OB, I mean overbet. If I ever say OB, which is, yeah. <laughs> Got my stomach kills. I have not ate yet today. And I've been up for like, what? Since one. <laughs> I was up to like four yesterday being like an absolute degen. But whatever. Um, do we want to three bet this hand? I think the answer is no. I'd actually forget what in theory what exactly Queen Nine suited does small blind versus big blind and just gonna fold i think versus a fish though if it if it does three bet it calls a four bet that's one thing i know he would not three bet the sand fold to a four bet i think i say i think after i say i know for sure but like sometimes i'm just surprised two no actually wait we'll defend this normally okay what the hell one day maybe i'll go over what my tags mean but Oh, now my two doesn't even play. That's so sick. <laughs> Alright, and if you're wondering why the tables are different, I play on DG and stars. So <laughs> some of these tables will be poker stars and some of them will be a uh, WSOP. GG, like in global WSOP in Ontario. Wait, three with this guy. Probably not. Probably call him though. The reason why is he's like wailing off. Like he just shoved 37 bigs over a two big one open. So I'd rather just make sure this hand sees a flop. The ace river. The thing is, our ace doesn't play. Your ace played would probably bet. It's such a bad ace. Is he really gonna call worse? Maybe we could block bet. He probably wouldn't call worse this guy. I think we can play big better check here and then check back. Where's this fish? I think it plays better. If you don't mind just bluffing this spot, I think we actually have like a decent candidate to bluff. Obviously, we'd rather have king six of diamonds. But I don't think... It, I mean, this guy could actually have a six of clubs. 
But uh, I don't think this guy does anymore. I don't think he checks an ace. Just gonna bet a third on this board. Normally I would not, but versus player, he's be flipping 54. So just betting a third is gonna be more profitable than it should be. Normally I play OB or check on that board. And I'm just gonna check now and win. Sick. On a 60, oh, the table's weak. We'll just, actually this guy's kind of crazy though. So even though they're weaker, if they're really aggressive, you still don't want to play weaker hands. Like queen 10 obviously is a mix. And then here I still think you play OB. Especially with like double suit. Like if you had a diamond, I think it's different, but we will. Oh, we're about this one. The reason I say if you have a diamond, it's you block more of his... To be fair, this spot doesn't make actually as much sense as what I said. <laughs> so actually maybe disregard what I'm saying. <laughs> if the spot comes up again with the seats, I'll, I'll bring it up. But that one, because it, it's an ace-king board, it's a little different. All right, we have a spot here. We want to squeeze to a size. Like, they're both recreational, so I'm not even thinking about theory. I just want to look like I'm trying to, like, steal the pot. Like, what's the most, like... I think 14's a good number. <laughs> 14's a good, like... Just enough with a bit weaker hand that, like, they might perceive. Hoping uh, we can get a stack here with the kings. That, uh, that ace-king hand is weird versus Bolzer. I just think the type of calling range he has here, shoving is a little nice with Ace King. Like he's not a very good player, even though like he's a pretty bad rig. So I think I could just size down my Ace Jack. <laughs> I think even on turn I'm supposed to be more balanced. All right, I'm just gonna do the same deal. I'm not gonna three bet this guy with a hand that's not gonna call an all in. Because of how he just, because of what he did earlier. I probably shouldn't over uh, bet this hand. But I just figured that... Do we win? Oh, we lose the King Deuce. <laughs> I probably should check. My hand, obviously, in theory, is just a pure check. There's literally no upside in betting. I just figured that when he checks, he never has anything. This hand could probably 3 by calling all in, but I'm always flipping, so it's not really tempting. Unless he has, like, Ace-Deuce. This guy has yet to bet the flop with air, I think, so... Not gonna call him down late. Just wait till I have it, probably. This hand is on 87, it's gonna be a 3 bit bluff. It's like almost a pure 3 bit bluff. Blind versus blind. And this guy's probably overfolding. Huh. So that's weird. I think we just check this range pure. The thing is, our ace, like counterfeit, isn't as cool anyway because it makes us straight. Unless we get running aces. But... We'll still check. We'll check again. Now I'm trying to think if he bets river what we do. The ace is nice because it unblocks bluffs. Because he's never bluffing with an ace. Okay, he's just a weirdo. Like, actually. That river check is insane. And that's also, like, pretty much a pure get in. Blind versus blind. I'm actually going to take a note of that. Uh, all caps. Oh my god, I'm meant to open. Let's just hope ace5 wasn't the best hand on this board. <laughs> oh, don't put a deuce out there. I lose sleep. Okay, at least it's paired. Okay. Probably would have won the pot though, judging by how this hand is playing out. <laughs> Unless someone is just 4 3 off. What is going on? This is the most absurd hand of poker I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, never mind. I would have lost so much. Okay, not actually, because I probably would have just folded like flop. But that's so funny. He might have not have played his hand. He probably would have. Though. People like they're like low connector, like fish. Okay, I'm just gonna barrel into this pot because of him. I would never bet this big normally, but all right, now I gotta size down it probably. If I get raised by Bolzer here, I'm just gonna shit myself, to be honest, but. Just hoping that the JCAD guy is a club. And usually just the best thing you can do with uh, recreationals is put more money in the pot. Here, this hands a pretty common 4-bit bluff. 
So we're just going to do it. We rolled a lower number. I don't think it is on a 32, but I just don't mind it. This guy is pretty spewy in these spots, so. And I don't think people rip that light. Oh, it sucks. Oh, yeah, and he should. Did he have an ace? Alright, this is a good hand. Hopefully he does it again. No? Huh. Wait, how does this work? If I turn an ace and lose to an eight, do I just have the best hand? So if I hit an ace here, do I BBJ? If he has quads? No, it doesn't work, because the eight has to play, right? Yeah, unless he has ace eight. It's so sick. Alright, I'm gonna raise him. If he shoves, I just fold, I think. Okay, we win. Holy! <laughs> it's a funny river. What a run out. <laughs> it's weird he donked. I wish I raised him on the flop. But I was just worried about the eights, I guess. With versus the fish. But I probably shouldn't. I don't know. He just seemed tighter and then him leading. But I don't know if he would ever lead an eight. I mean, the thing is you can't know. Like, I, I just think that, like, the way a fish thinks, they would not lead quads on that board. But then when they just have quads there, you're just like, oh. I guess he was betting because he had quads. You just can't always know, for sure. Damn, I'm recording it. I feel like nothing's happened. But obviously, things have happened. I think I'm just too hard on myself when I play. Here, I think, in theory, like, I should 3-bet this hand a lot. But with the two recreationals, the EV of hitting an 8 is just too good, I think. This spot's close. You bet's so small, we probably just have to call. We're almost like priced in to hit a boat. Unless he has ace 9. Like, you could be doing this with like ace 9 or something, I guess. But whatever. Also, you could just, like, obviously give up and we have the best hand. Well, I guess we'll... This normally, I think, is, like, close to a pure fold, but... Versus this guy, I think we will definitely defend it. And, uh, hopefully we can just hit an offsuit card here. I'm gonna raise just to build the pot. Versus the fish. Here, you're supposed to fold, but when he min clicks me, we're just gonna call and just overfold post. Probably call one on this board. Okay, I'll probably just fold turn now. This is so weird. Does he have like tens? Like what is going on? I guess we win. Oh, <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> I felt like he was very strong, but the uh, the equity of like or the implied odds of like just hitting a hand that beats queens there for like three bigs versus a fish is too good to not call pre. Like if we hit like queen ten eight there, okay, obviously it's like the not spot. Here's the same type of situation, I think. Not the flop I was looking for. Probably shouldn't fold the ace here, it's probably a mistake. Actually, I think you do muck some aces, actually, so. Damn, I'm hungry. Wait, I have the same hand. Oh, no. I made a diamond last time. Not, not as good of a flop, if I'm gonna be honest. He checks. So this is like a good hand to- does he like check a jack? I have a read- I'm gonna go with a read that he doesn't check a jack. Okay, it worked out. I didn't embarrass myself. Um, here I think we just check a lot. Ace-king I think on a higher number could check. Let's just roll one because it's a glitching. Okay, and an 18 I won't. Because sometimes it just roll- it's supposed to roll on each like action, but sometimes it, it bugs out. And here I think it's supposed- this is close. I think we call here. With two overs. And he's gonna still have a lot of draws. But the thing is, like, he usually with those draws, bets again on the turn is the issue. I think here with the gutter, we're going to call. On a club river, I might donk. Do something funny. Like, donk pot. Okay, do we have the best hand? Probably not. If he bets, I might fold. This is so funny. I hit an ace, and now I'm just like... I just don't think he bluffs now. When the flush gets there. That's a running hot emoji. Dude, wouldn't that be sick if I donked on a club, and he just has ace three? <laughs>
Wow. Versus this guy, what do we want to do? Probably just build the pot. Oh, well now we do not want to build the pot. We just check. I don't think he really has any bluffs here. Unless he has Queen Jack. I'm going to call once though, because we just have to kind of. And then we're just going to check fold. Sick. Here are we supposed to call a6? I guess I will, because I think my opponent's misplaying. If you check there, I would have bluffed River. Like, he's going to make mistakes on later streets. Like, on a queen turn, he might, like, pay off more than he should. Obviously, an ace isn't really a queen, queen out, because you lose to a queen. Alright, how long am I recording for? 25 minutes? Okay. Might upload two today. I don't know. This video's kind of meh. Huh. This guy's been kind of going crazy. But do I want to get this hand in? He cold calls. I think when he cold calls and this guy's three betting like 14, we're just going to have to... Uh, we're, we are a bit deeper though. But I probably will just go with the hand, unfortunately. Don't know anything about this player. You could just be spewing. Okay. Now, Bolter should have a fold here. I mean, he might just call him just to see a flop, which is kind of sick, but... Wait, Erlen's is so tight pre-flop. I'm just going to call here. This guy's, like, super tight. What is this guy doing? Dude, I don't even feel like I'm good here. I feel like he has queens. This is the this is his board, to be honest. So I'm just going to check. Actually, that's probably so bad. Do I just, like, bet and fold to a jam? I don't know. I checked. Okay. I think I made a mistake in this hand, but whatever. Okay, if Erlens beats me, let's hit an ace on the river here and BBJ somehow. Oh my god! Wait, what does he need to be- oh wait, we can't lose, right? Oh, there's no BBJ possible. She has my hand a bluff now? That's so sick. I don't even know what he has. I block all of his calls. I don't even know what this guy could have here. I'm gonna check. I feel like I played this hand terrible. Oh my god, we have the same hand. Thank god. How does he call turn? What? That's such a bad turn call. I don't know. I'm just gonna go all in. I'm so confused. Man, I wish I could BBJ on this board. I can't, though. Okay, that makes sense. That's literally what he had. Like, this guy is so tight. Like, that's the... Wait! Oh, he folded pre. With 3-3. Three, three. Wait, if a 3 flopped, I would have stacked him. I would have called up with Ace-King and hit running Aces in 1. King-6 is a really... King-6 off is a really common 3-bit bluff from the blind versus blind. Then Bolter literally, like, this play is just so bad. Like, like how is he so bad? Okay, I, I gotta stop being mean, but, like, what? Call, call, and then, like, as played, calls turn. Like, what do you think my checkback wrench in the river looks like? Like... Anything that doesn't beat, like, if he's going to fold river, anything that doesn't beat jack-jack is going to shove river, but basically. So it's just, like, I don't know. I probably shouldn't bet turn, but I just thought he would fold queens, so I had the wrong read. If he's not folding jacks, he's not folding queens, so. But, yeah, the re I ranged them really well. Like, he literally has jacks through, like, eights. I just figured jacks, he was, like, self-aware enough to know that he probably should bet. And here, we're just going to call most of our hands play. And here, this is a hand I think we should call. Wow, he rivered it. So sick. You had three outs. I guess we call here. I tempted to fold because I think he's just under bluffing. We could lead this board. I think this board would have been okay to lead, but this hand is just so bad. I think we want to give it up. Like, you want at least a backdoor flusher, I think. Which is like ace five of clubs, ace five of spades. Eight. Yeah. Even though. I think he might over at the board and then over, like, I don't know. He's probably too not in his far bad. It's probably just not even worth. Just lead when you hit. <laughs> I guess we check again. Now, if he bets here, we kind of block bless with the nines. He'd probably rather call, like, a five. To be honest. Since we're range betting flop anyway, like, we have so many different types of hands we can call with. And a nine's probably just bad. Because, like, he's floating with, like, 9-7, 9-8. I mean, we block queen 9, which is value, but I just don't... Yeah, I guess that actually is relevant, but... 
since his his betting range on the river is pretty thin. And then we block Jack Nine. Uh, maybe a nine actually is pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, two X here. Usually opens bigger than two X, so. Okay, here I think we just still check and then hope he has a jack and raise him. I'm just gonna raise big versus the fish. I mean, it's just, how does he fold the jack here? Wow, he fold the jack! Okay. Wow. First of all, that's like bad, I think, to fold any jacks. But Obviously, it's not bad if he knows how I perceive him. <laughs> Probably. But yeah, folding a jack there is just bad. So the check raise line just prints for him, I guess. But I'm not going to overreact, because I think now that he did that, he's going to think that I will bluff him in the next time I do it. Because like that's how people react, so... But I am noted that he's not like an insane calling station. He does like to fold, probably. Okay. It's so obviously a very high V spot. I think here we just bet one third with range on flop though. If he raises me here, we probably just get it in with eights. We don't block all of his raising value. And he can't really fold the draws he raises too much. But eights also have the board pretty locked up, but of course he just folds. On a 97, I still think from these positions, not really gonna be a thing to three bet the hen. I think from this, this is supposed to be a three bet, but I think versus this player, I don't mind just calling. And we can do both here. I don't mind the call. I think like queen like lower would be better than queen jack. Um, simply for the fact that, like, I can't stack a jack high flush, right? Which is gonna have more of than everything lower. Usually, like, the lower it goes, the more you have that hand. And on the river, I guess you can block bet. Like, you might have an eight. Ace high. I don't think he has a king too often now. And we have a pretty good jack. Like, he also probably checks a lot when he hits a jack. Like, obviously, we could get called here by ace jack. But I think you can have jack ten, jack nine. I also don't like check calling because I think he's under bluffing in the, that line. But I could be wrong actually, maybe he isn't. You gotta be mostly checking back this hand. And it's probably mostly a check back on turn. Okay, good river. What do I need here? A nine? Nine of hearts for a straight flush. That's it. I think we can overbet here. Like I think our range wants to play overbets. There's no mid straights or anything, so like a basically ace queen, king queen is good enough to overbet. This stack that's for sure, over pairs. Yeah, I'm gonna post two today. Because I'm gonna probably after this. I don't know. Not much to do. I'm not gonna run today. Because I'm sore as fuck. Oh, yeah, it's never betting this hand, I think. On River, I might try it. Why not? I do think Diamonds is like a good portion of their range that isn't a pair. But whatever. We'll still bet. He's gonna call me like ace high. <laughs> I just that spot usually just makes enough money. All right, same type of deal before. He basically guaranteed us a really nutty hand, so we're gonna have to overfold post, but we're way too priced in to fold. Uh, maybe we peel one, unless he bets big. If he bets big, we're just gonna have to fold. Because even on a club turn... Okay, small bet, I'll peel. Not the best turn. I think we just bluff and hope he has, like, jacks, tens. Maybe, like, half pot. Actually, let's bet like this. <laughs> okay. Nice hand, man. The snap re-raise. Yeah, I'm 
a bit brain dead right now because I've been actually I was playing a very good amount before I started recording. There was just not that many tables going. But yeah. Got Balter back for Andy God on me, heads up. But I like hero folded so I didn't lose as much. But I'm pretty sure he just had to have had it. Like this guy doesn't bluff. Okay, let's go five and a half bigs. Obviously a super high EV spot for me. Just play B20 with my hands here. What is action? Someone must have said, oh yeah, it was this guy. So I was in the big. Now we're just going to size up here and then shove. Hopefully he doesn't have seven five or something. Or not, hopefully it's seven five. Hopefully it doesn't have a seven. All right, so what's action here? I don't even remember. All I know is it went check check and I hit the seven on the river. So I'm gonna bet. It's like big better checking. I think one under to the eight, especially a club. It's just not that good. Cause you could be tempted to float like ten eight of diamonds and shit, which is like good to block. I mean, obviously we like technically beat that end, but we'd rather it fold because that hand can bluff on later shoots, and our hand will not be calling. Here, I think my hand is literally just razor fold with the king of hearts. Is this deck too bad to fold? Uh, maybe it's just too good to fold. Okay, like obviously a, like a six was coming. I knew it. I mean the six of diamonds are tight like that. And uh, he told me he was gonna reach later. Just overbet Jack ten for no reason. Agreed. Do I raise him? Uh, it feels like so pointless. I'm gonna call him a net. Ace 10. See? Right read. But bro, you gotta have bigger than that. I just think he has like air or an 8. And there's no point in raising. It's my read. Bad read? Maybe. I don't know. But to be honest, like, I don't think he bets 10 8 for that size. Like, he either like over bets or bets small to like induce. <sighs> I mean, to be fair, it's a fish. You have no clue what they're doing, like, directly on certain boards. But you can, like, pattern recognition certain things. Like, usually pot size is a little nuttier. Yeah, this ends also a good 4-bit bluff. He did size down. So we want to be more polar. But I think from these positions, it's just a pure fold. Even though, like, when, versus the downsize, we probably want to be more polar. But I don't think it makes Ace-10 get in there. Would have been 10 away. Oh! Look at this guy's stack. Okay, we're gonna call. This is weird because you have like no, you can't win a side pot. So if he calls, he has to have a hand that can beat this guy because like a side pot's gonna build. It's so weird. Wow, look how much equity I have here. It's so funny. Let's uh, run it twice. Why not? Let's give him a chance to keep his three big blinds. All right, first one. Perfect. Oh <laughs> wow, we're just so good. I'm just talented. On the 9, I think a 9 isn't too much of our betting range. We were supposed to overbet this flop and we probably didn't, but whatever. We're going to check now, and this is a weird run out. I'm actually probably going to call River. <laughs> Snap pot. Oh, I want to call so bad. It's probably wrong. But if he has like a 3, if he has... We have like the worst hand to call with though. Because we want him to have this. Actually... <gasps> I meant to just call. No way, man. I just lost an extra, like, what, 50 bucks because of a misclick? He called me. With a 9. Oh my god. Wait, that actually almost was genius. He almost folded. How does he call there? No one ever bluffs that spot. He's obviously a fish. But literally no one has ever bluffed that spot in the history of poker. On a 90, I think we're going to 3-bit this end. That's a bluff. Damn, I just misclicked. Ah, oh, whatever. Can't, like, dwell on it, even though that's, like, actually so lame. Whatever, we'll get his money back. Alright, probably record for like five more minutes. Hopefully we don't get shoved on here. That's all I... Already calls. Alright, this is a bad board for us. Gonna check back a good amount on this board. He's supposed to lead it. If we do bet, I think we bet half pot. Not having an ace is probably good. King of diamonds is... Jack of hearts is bad. We want to block jack nine suited. Actually, no, that folds pure, I think. I think this hand class is okay with betting, though. 
And this guy, I don't mind calling, but on a 1. My range is kind of like linearly. Oh, we would hit a 4. Never mind. What a mistake. Okay. I'm going to be wrapping up the video. I'm going to squeeze this to 11. Alright, we got aces to the end. I'll uh, just do the thing where I sit out on next big. We'll just play till my bigs on every table. Okay, I thought I was just like folding this hand for some reason. Alright, gonna squeeze here. We did the same thing earlier, we'll go to 14. Maybe he like thinks I'm making a move. Huh, this is a high EV spot. I almost feel like my hand just checks on the flop though. Nah, probably, we can get value from worse, so. And maybe someone spews. Here my hand's supposed to call, but it's so, like, the Esper is so low, I think we just shove out of position. In theory, I think to be balanced, we're supposed to call. Actually, he could be making a move, but he's probably nittier po- I don't- It's close. I'm gonna shove. Okay. Good play, me. You wanna retice? Yes. That's sick. So, hopefully we don't lose both. He's dead. Um, I guess we check here. Oh man, I just don't even want to call River. A few bets. Yeah, well we got this guy's money. Sucks to lose one, but whatever. It's a good thing we uh, got it in pre, because we would have got stacked. <laughs> oh, actually on a 39, this probably isn't a 3 bet. Like, we have the perfect bluff catcher on this River, by the way. We block the nut flush. We have top pair. Do we just call? It feels like we're never good versus player, but like this is too exploitive to fold, so we're gonna call. We have to be good like 30% of the time here, probably less, so. Yep, fair river. Like, I just know on that jack, like he's just always good. It's so sick. This guy runs so good versus me. But obviously in this video, it doesn't look accurate because I stacked him. Like, I literally can basically see his whole cards because of how he plays poker. Like, he needs, like, insane setups to beat me. And he just has it every time. It's so sick. Alright, enough complaining. Um, thanks, everyone, for watching the video. <laughs> I think I had a winning session, so I should, shouldn't complain too much. But, yeah. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And, uh, yeah, see you in the next video.